Here we're printing a solder fume extractor base on a Prusa Mini. Now this is black PETG. PETG is a little more resilient and tough than PLA but not as strong. We're using a low infill rate here um, with a hypercoid uh, fill and uh, thicker shell walls. What we can tell with this design is that it minimizes the use of your filament while still maximizing strength. Too much infill is actually completely the use of unnecessary. Infill in this way reduces the amount of plastic consumed and speeds up the print time. Not exactly fast. This will take 11 more hours, and it's cruising at 100% speed. We can see that the fume extractor base is making good progress here. I have it running at reduced speed to reduce the noise output. It's been running for 15 hours and at this speed it would take 14 hours 53 minutes. Here we can see the extruder cruising. I've actually turned it up to 110%. It's uh, doing PETG at 235 centigrade and 85 centigrade on the hot plate. This is the fume hood extractor of the project I've been working on, the soldering fume extractor. This is the part where the 120 millimeter PC fan connects to the base. Then I'll be using a 12 volt power supply or a sealed lead acid battery as the power source. We might try different fans to see what works best. Activated carbon will go into the front sheets cut to fit inside this jig here that's printing. And this jig acts as the holder for the carbon fiber, the mount for the fan, and is the upper assembly that mounts on top of this L-shaped bracket here. And that screw knob and bolt going through it are what tighten what you can see in the corner back here. That's the other side, and I've got to bust the supports out of there. Um, I'm going to turn the speed up a little more. Now we're at 120% speed. It is absolutely cruising. Look at it rip. It slows down for the outer edge. But since these are all orbital shells, I figured no complex back and forth da, 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 da. it just races around the edge like a racetrack see there it goes full speed ahead full speed ahead we'll go a little faster here's here's 130 percent you can see it ripping i turned up the nozzle temperature to 240 to help it extrude the higher flow rate required for this extreme performance here. Let's give it one more watch at full speed. Here it goes. The pitch of the drive motors are increasing because of the higher speed. You can hear that resonance. It's cruising. So, it's done. The extractor fan, solder fume extractor fan, is printed and mounted to its base. We can see right here how the base works. You just spin it like this. And there's holes in the corner. If we look here, we can see holes in the corner. Those are for the screws to mount the fan. And the shroud on the front here is what creates the intake for the smoke, where this flared area around the edge increases the smoke capture zone. Next, we're going to mount activated carbon and the fan. All right, there it is, wrapper prototype. I used um, four zip ties in the corners, kind of like that. Fed one through one way, one through the other in the opposite corners. Fan is very secure, wires tied around the post like that. Next, we're going to attach this fan. It sucks air in this way. Um, we're going to attach that to a power supply to test it.